29. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as you do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go under newsletters. You're going to see right on the left-hand side, you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil also has about 12 archives on there, so you understand exactly how he looks at the market every day and exactly how you'd ride the Chapman wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is uh, these three charts that I'm showing right now, this is the daily chart of the Dow, the weekly chart of the Dow, and the monthly chart of the Dow, kind of sums up what I'm looking at. The daily chart is in this, I drew this rectangle in a little while back, and I said there's a con probably a consolidation taking place right now, so that's the daily chart. You can see some of the technicals are starting to weaken. This is the MACD and the stochastic, even the relative strength. Um, the on-balance one, the little blue line is holding well, and the nine-period moving average is still over the 14, so that's good. So in my work, I like to identify the lowest low bar and then count each successively higher peak, like this right here. Yes. Alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. Uh, peak A, the next peak higher, one penny higher starts, leg B, that makes a peak B when it turns down. Next uh, leg is C, then it makes a peak, and the next one is D. So you've got four higher peaks going to a D. I like to look at it to say I'm upgrading from a buy signal to a buy mode at a certain point, and that says you should go to at least a D. At D, other things can happen. It can go to E, F, and G. It can recycle. Just a bunch of things. So just moving this away for a second, look what happened. We've gotten to the peak D in the daily chart. Now we're stalling a little bit. We were only at a leg B in the weekly chart, and the technicals, all these technicals, are still very strong. And the monthly chart is in leg C, and that suggests that over the period of 2024, over the period of this year, actually, in the, over the next few months, we should still have a peak C, and then a leg D, and then a peak D. So, so far, all of that's bullish. So, the way I'm looking at it, uh, you and I have spoken about this many times, where I talk about the semiconductors as kind of the oil of the 21st century. We yes. had oil in the 1900s and the 2000s. Everything now has a chip. Well, not everything. Just about everything has a chip. And that's really important to the economy. So in the semiconductors, so we have, a, we have long positions in the Dow. We've had them for quite a while. We've had a trading short position. It's still short. And now look at this. The SMHs. <clears throat> This is a semiconductor made a peak F. This is in the Chapman wave at 207.12. It pulled back and then it made this arch formation. A pattern that I look at is a, a pattern where, uh, let me just grab this. Price comes down quite sharply and then rallies to just the peak A or a B and then it takes out the left side low. What happens after that is very important. So we have NVIDIA coming out with earnings after the bell tomorrow. But look, here's the SMHs. It went under that left side low. It's now that market hasn't closed till about 35, 40 minutes to go. And it's got enough time to close above it. That'll be important. But you've already got to a peak E in the weekly chart and only a C. So this is almost like the Dow. It looks on the shorter term, we're looking at some kind of consolidation. Weekly chart is still good. And the monthly chart is still looking for in 2024 is still good. But now look at this. I've spoken to you about what my my concept about round numbers. Yes. That if you see it periodically, that's one thing. But when you see it over and over and over, it tells you that the buyers are so they they're so desperate to either sell or buy. They don't even put the decimal. They just boom, 225, zero zero, or whatever it is. So look at this Nvidia over the last uh, week and a half is at about four or five round numbers above 704 so that and it's trading at 692 right now we we were looking i had callers the other day we were looking at smci and this is this is Garrow. I guess, yep <laughs> right this is super micro uh, so i was i said 
you've got to take some money off. I've got so oh, that many round Steve numbers. Okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, and we've had round numbers, um, and even today, we had an eight a seven hundred and ninety point zero zero open. Look at that. A wow. high of eight o two point zero zero, and it's trading at seven seventy one right now. And it so was as low not, as six ninety two fifty, right? Yeah. One thousand and seventy seven in two sessions down to six ninety two. That's the reason why I always say, you know, people always talk about. You know, tax consequences when it comes to November, December, or they talk about they don't want to get out because you know they're going to pay taxes. I'm always saying, you know, a market in in two days can just destroy that theory altogether. Yeah, you've got to take profits when it's a gift and it's given to you. So that's what I was saying last week. That's really important. Take at least take something off so that you know you've rewarded yourself. Wait, that's this S SMCI. But look at this. GE hasn't had a round number in I don't know how long, and it's been a fantastic stock. A couple of days ago, it has a 147 round number, 00, 147.00. It's an, a high just above uh, one. Uh, let me just give you the exact high right here. And the high is uh, 150.56, trading at 148.06 right now. Um, and it's the first time it's had round numbers. So I've got about two or three, and there was nothing for weeks and weeks. So I'm just looking at Lily. Eli Lily goes to an all-time high. It's just a fantastic stock. And what does it do today? It has a 794.47 high um, Friday. And then it has what I call a Chapman Wave 2-bar reversal, a fractionally lower high today. And what does it do? It opens at 790 and it's trading at 755 right now. So I, I think something's happening here where we've got to uh, we've got to take we've got to give credence to the fact that there are so many these are must be funds because I, it's not individuals but it's, to be to grab something at a high be stuck with a I mean look at this ARM this is ARM Holdings all time high 164.00 it has a whole bunch of round numbers. It's trading now at 120. It hit 115 this morning. 164. Somebody's looking at this and saying, "I paid 164 and it's trading at 115." So I respect these round numbers. And all it's saying to me is that trading 120. Yeah, and I mean this is this is a pretty serious pullback. That was more than a pullback. This is a yeah, twenty percent more than that. It's it's a big decline. So I look at this and I'm saying something's happening here that's a little different. And I think this is part of this ro rotation that we're about to go into. In fact, I'm looking at some uh, areas like phosphate, and I think we we having a, a rotation here that says the real winners that have had fantastic moves and got have some have gone parabolic are going to have a digestive phase. Now is a very appropriate time to be looking at other areas. So that's what we're doing from subscribers to my opening call. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. On the left-hand side, the opening call, you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Those, those numbers, man, there's so many of them, Basil. It's, it's amazing. Ama so it is amazing, man. <laughs> have a great one, Thank man. Thank you, Tom. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. You might think that if you want